Number 25. Find your inner Einstein. The next time you see a picture of Albert Einstein, realize that that's actually you. See Albert Einstein and say, there I am. Every human has the capacity for some form of genius. You don't have to be good with math or physics to experience genius level in your thinking. To experience Einstein's creative level of thinking, all you have to do is habitually use your imagination. This is a difficult recommendation for adults to follow, because adults have become accustomed to using their imaginations for only one thing, worrying. Adults visualize worst-case scenarios all day long. All their energy for visualization is channeled into colorful pictures of what they dread. What they don't comprehend is that worry is a misuse of the imagination. The human imagination was designed for better things. People who use their imaginations to create would often achieve things that worriers never dream of achieving. Even if the worriers possess much higher IQs. People who habitually access their imaginations are often hailed by their colleagues as geniuses, as if genius was a genetic characteristic. They would be better understood as people who are practiced at accessing their genius. Recognition of the power of this genius in all of us prompted Napoleon to say, imagination rules the world. As a child, you instinctively used your imagination as it was intended. You daydreamed and made stuff up. You were a daydream believer by day and in your right brain at night you sailed down a river of dreams. If you go back into that state of self-confidence and dream again, you'll be pleasantly surprised at how many innovative and immediate solutions you come up with to your problems. Einstein used to say, imagination is more important than knowledge. When I first heard he'd said that, I didn't know what he meant. I always thought additional knowledge was the answer to every difficult problem. I thought if I could just learn a few more important things, then I'd be okay. What I didn't realize was that the very thing I needed to learn was not knowledge, but skill. What I needed to learn was the skill of proactively using my imagination. And once I'd learned that skill, the first task was to begin imagining the vision of who I wanted to be. Songwriter Fred Knipe once wrote a song about this. It was for the soundtrack of a video produced for teenagers about how to visualize themselves succeeding at what they wanted to do. That's you, in your wildest dreams, doing the wildest things, no one else can do. If you, just love and keep those dreams, the wildest dreams, you'll make yourself come true. To make ourselves come true, we need to develop the strength to dream. Dreaming, in its proactive sense, is strong work. It's the design stage of creating the future. It takes confidence and it takes courage. But the greatest thing about active dreaming is not in the eventual reaching of the goal, the greatest thing is what it does to the dreamer. Forget the literal attainment of your dream for now. Focus on just going for it. By simply going for the dream, you make yourself come true. Thanks for watching. Are you visiting our channel for the first time? Then click subscribe and hit that thumbs up below the video. Join us for more videos like this.